Hello everyone, I am Prajal Agarwal and today we are going to look at this problem body name. This problem is rated as easy on code chef and you require basics of greedy algorithms and observation to solve this. So guys, if you haven't read the problem yet, go back and read it and then come back and see the solution. With this, let's begin. In this problem, we are given three people, Alice, Bob and Charlie. Alice, Bob and Charlie are playing a game among one another. Basically, we are given our two tables. The first table has n heaps. On the first table, ith heap has ai number of stones. Similarly, on the second table, we have m heaps. And on this table, ith heap has bi number of stones. Now, Alice is playing on the first table. Bob is playing on the second and Charlie is playing on no table. Now, when Alice and Bob have their turn, then they have to choose some positive number of stones from their table. And they have to remove them. The player who is not able to remove will lose the game. Charlie on his turn can decide whether Alice should play on its own table or Alice and Bob should swap their tables. That means that Bob should go to this table and Alice should go to the second table. Charlie will decide this on his turn. Now we are given that Alice and Charlie are actually friends. So they can cooperate and will play optimally to defeat Bob. Now Bob will also play optimally. So given that all the three players play optimally, at the end we will have someone who is not able to remove the stone from either the first table or the second table. And the player who will not be able to remove will lose. So we have to find the winner of this game. And we have to print Alice and Bob accordingly. The constraints given to us are, we are given test cases from 1 to 100. The number of, the number of heaps n and m can be from 1 to 100 and the number of stones in a single heap can be from 0 to 10 to the power 9 on both the tables. It is also given that first Charlie will play his turn, then Alice and then Bob and then again Charlie and they will go one by one and so on. Now let us look at some test cases. In the first test we have table 1 as 1, 1 and 1 and table 2 as 3. This table has three heaps with one stone each and this table has one heap with three stones. Alice is present on the first, Bob is present on the second and we have Charlie. Now Charlie goes first. Now guys, I'm going to tell you one of the winning strategies here. There are many winning strategies and you can try to go ahead and find one of them. So let's say Charlie goes first and he says that Alice and Bob should swap. So now. Alice and Bob are going to swap their position and Alice comes here and Bob come here. Now second Alice will go and let's say Alice remove all these three stones from this single heap. So this three becomes to zero. Since Bob can only remove one stone and he has to remove something positive. So he will remove this one and change it to zero. So now the new configuration that we have is zero, one, one. Now it's the turn of Charlie again and he decides that Alice and Bob should switch. So now again, Alice comes back to table 1 and Bob goes back to table 2. Now it's the turn of Alice and she removes 1 and makes this to 0. So now the new configuration becomes 0, 0 and 1. We have 1 heap with 1 stone left. Since Bob has 0 stones at his table, then he cannot remove any, hence he will lose. Hence our winner is Alice as given in the output. In the third test case, we have two tables with one heap containing only one stone. Alice is on the first and Bob is on the second. Now it does not matter whether Charlie switches them or not. Alice will have the same configuration, hence she has to only remove this one stone. Hence this will change to zero and Bob will on his turn change this to zero. 
Now both the tables have zero stones and Alice cannot remove anything because it's her turn after Charlie. So the answer is Bob. In the third test case, the winner is Bob. So guys, try to do the same thing for the second test case yourself. Now in this problem, we are given two tables. The first has n heaps and the second has m heaps. Now to solve problem like these, we have to find the first thing is the end conditions. That is the condition such that the game will end. Now these conditions don't have to be the initial ones. You can just try some small test cases and see some patterns. And depending upon them, you have to find the winner of the game. For example, let us say that table 1 has 1 heap with 1 stone and table 2 has 0. Now Alice is standing on the first table, hence she will remove this. And on the Bob's turn, he cannot remove anything, hence Alice will win. So you can try these small test cases and try to see some pattern. The other thing is, for example, let's say Alice was on this table and Bob is on this table. And it is Charlie's turn now. So the optimal strategy for Charlie is to switch them because if when Alice will have her turn, then she cannot remove anything. Hence Bob will win. But Alice and Charlie are friends, hence it is optimal that they switch. So you have to find these example test cases and find some conditions that will end this game. The second is to backtrack. Now given these end conditions and some pattern, you need to create these initial conditions such that instead of just one heap, they have several heaps. In this problem, we will see how to do these things. Moving on to the solution. So now let us say that there are two tables with some stones and some heaps. And the first turn is Charlie's. Now Charlie and Alice are friends. Hence, one of the observation here to notice that let's say summation of A of I is not equal to summation of B of I. That is our case one. Then in this case, the optimal strategy for Charlie is to assign the tables having more number of stones to Alice. If it is table 1, then Charlie will decide that Alice and Bob should not switch. And if it is table 2, then Charlie will decide that they should switch. Why? This is because when Alice has large number of stones, then the optimal strategy for Alice would be to remove one one stone at a time. And since Bob has less number of stones, eventually after many turns, Bob will run out of stones and Alice will win. So if summation A of I is greater than summation B of I, it is optimal that Charlie decides that they should not switch because Alice already belongs to the first table. So no switching. Else they will just swap. Alice and Bob will swap their tables and Alice will get large number of stones and she will win. Basically this means that in this case the winner is always Alice. Now we have another case that summation A of I equals summation B of I. Now we can actually extend the observation from the case 1 and say that Bob can only win if at the end the configuration is same in both these tables. For example, since Bob plays second, after his turn Charlie will go and if the number of stones in any the table is not same. That means one table has higher number of stones. Then Charlie will just swap and get Alice will get the table which has large number of stones. So it is always optimal that Bob, re Bob removes the number of stones equal to what Alice had removed on her turn. This will imply that since summation AI equals summation BI, if Alice removes some K number of stones from her table, then Bob will also remove some K number of stones such that after his turn, so after Bob's turn, summation AI minus K should be equal to summation BI minus K. Now another thing to note is that Bob can only win if the configuration in both the tables is also same, which means that let's say the configuration is A1, A2 till A of N and this is equal to B1 b2 till b of m by meaning that configuration should be same 
n should be equal to m and for every ai there should be a bi bj such that ai equals bj so for all i ai should be equal to some bj this is true because if the configurations are not same then alice will remove a pile which has the largest number of stones and if bob is not able to remove that number of stones then this condition that summation ai minus k equals summation bi minus k will not satisfy because here the k will be different in both the cases alice removed some k1 and bob will remove some k2 hence this condition will become false when this condition becomes false we can see that we actually migrate to our case one where summation ai will not be equal to summation bi and on charlie's turn he will assign the table with large number of stones to alice and alice will win so if the initial configuration is same bob will always remove the exact number of stones that alice will hence it does not matter what charlie decides since the configuration is same if he decides to swap or not swap alice will always get the same configuration as bob hence bob will win moving on to the implementation so let us say that we have two vectors a and b a represents the first table and b represents the second now the first thing is to remove all the occurrences of zero from a to b in the problem we are given that ai comma bi actually belongs to the range 0 to 10 to the power 9 now heaps with number of stones equal 0 are not useful as we need to remove something positive hence they are redundant so we will remove all of them finally if the configuration is not equal which means that the sum is not equal or the configuration the exact configuration is not equal then in both the cases the answer is alice because she is the winner else we will print bob so the overall time complexity is equal to n log n plus m log m this is because to check whether these two vectors are equal we have to sort both of them or we can use a map this depends upon the implementation so the time is n log n plus m log m the space complexity is order of n plus m we have to store these vectors of size n and m initially moving on to the code so first i have processed the input and now i create these two maps count one and count two they basically act as frequency maps for a and b now if these two maps are equal which means that the configuration is equal so we will print bob else we will print alice moving on to the code this code has been written in python 3.6 so now first we process the input and we will filter out all the zeros from a and b and then if sorted a equals sorted b then we will print bob this means that the configuration of a and b is exactly the same else we will print alice so guys i hope you understood the problem clearly if you have any questions drop a comment in the comment section like the video and don't forget to subscribe to get our latest updates from code chef thank you and goodbye